This tutorial explains how to construct the maxilla segmentation on ITK SNAP. The construction of the maxilla segmentation shown here can be used as a step after voxel base registration as displayed here when scans are already superimposed with the cranial base as a reference. It can also be used as a pre-step for the regional voxel base registration at the maxilla as shown in tutorial 3C. Load the scan, CT, CBCT, MicroCT into ITK SNAP. Here, we simply loaded it using the drag and drop method. You can either start a new segmentation or load a segmentation to integrate the maxilla. In this case, we will load a cranial base segmentation and start the mandible from it. To start the registration step, click on the snake icon in the main toolbox section on the left toolbar. Red lines will appear and move these to include only the region of interest. Here, that's the mandible. Make sure the red lines are surrounding the right region in the coronal, sagittal, and axial views. In the segmentation options section of the left toolbar, there are two options of colors. The active drawing label is the color that your segmentation will be, and the draw over is where your segmentation will be created. Active drawing label can be any color, and we'll choose red because that's the most common for the maxilla. For draw over, select clear label since there aren't any other labels yet. When finished, click Segment 3D on the left toolbar. The next step is to choose between Intensity Regions, which is used to start segmentation from zero, and Image Edges, which is used when the segmentation is already done and you need to make some retouches. Click Preprocess Image. Try to adjust the lower and upper threshold so that the bone gets visibly white without excess noise. When finished, click OK, then click Next. Now it's time to add bubbles to the scan. Press and hold the left mouse button, then press the plus keyboard button. This will add bubbles to the scan where your cursor is located. Keep the bubbles mainly on the white bone. If some of the bubble inevitably goes into the blue or black sections, that's OK. It will shape to the bone in the next step. When you've finished with the bubbles, click the Next button on the left toolbar to begin segmentation. Next step is the bubble shaping. Click Set Parameters in the right window. Modify the red line so that they stay inside the white part. Click Accept, then press the Play button on the left toolbar, which runs the program, or makes the bubbles shape only to the white bone. You can stop the program at any time to see how the segmentation is coming along by clicking the Update Mesh icon on the bottom toolbar of the ITK Snap window. Click Finish on the left toolbar after the segmentation is completed. Click Update Mesh to see the final segmentation. Here, the mandible had some deformities, so it'll need adjustments with the paint brush.
quick update mesh to see the final segmentation. When finished with all the manual adjustments, the segmentation is ready to be saved. Click Segmentation in the upper left corner and select Save as Image. Choose the directory and remember to type .gipl.gz at the end so it can be saved as a compressed JPL to save some space.